Mama told her son to turn up. I said, okay, bet. Okay, RIP my grandma. She said, one day you up now. Mix in my Yo, what's up, everyone? So, today we're going to be showing you a yeet typer effect for music videos um i haven't exactly seen this effect be used like in every single yeet video but like i saw a clip of this cole bennett yeet video a couple weeks ago you know there, there was just this like ghost sort of effect with it i've seen like a ghost effect um and then throughout the rest of the video i've seen like a couple flashes here and then so i just thought i'd combine them together and create this sort of like glowy but like ghost effect and i think this like ghost glow effect would really fit yeet's um sort of like aesthetic that you got going on for like music videos and that um you know it just it just fits the vibe in it i'm gonna take you through the process of how i made this sort of effect and i did a similar sort of thing in like a promo video i did for a clothing brand a couple weeks ago so that's up on my insta go check that out um but without further ado let's let me show you straight Let's get straight into it. Alright, so I'm just scrolling through the video. I, I shot this in an underground car park. The way the shutter was, like, kind of blurry straight out the camera. So I thought that this was a really good, like, look for the effect. So that's what kind of inspired it. Just the camera, like, how I shot it already, it was kind of already shaky. Just cut your clip to however long you want it. And, you know, I cut it to at the end where, you know, it's a more clear, there's a more clear shot of, like, uh, of the model's face in it. Um, but elsewhere, if I play the video elsewhere, it's kind of blurry. But then when you get to the end, you know, there's a there's a lot more focus on the on the face on the subject. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate the clip. Um, and this is basically the main sort of ghost effect. So what you do, all you do is duplicate the clip, and you put it on top of the other, and you literally just move it a couple frames, like. Uh, in front like so I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna literally just move it like one or two frames in front of the clip before and you just turn on the opacity and as you can see it, it's, it's like a ghost trail like sort of effect because one clip is literally just being played straight after the other and it's on a lower opacity it's a really cool uh, organic like way without like loading in any like external like effects from your software so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna duplicate this layer again they're all basically the same layer and I'm gonna try and place it the same amount of frames after. I think I did like two frames, um, yeah, but I'm gonna try one frame. And that's the thing, you can vary how many frames you wanna change between um, between each layer, but you know, I, I've usually found that the smaller you keep it, the more refined it looks. Cause if you, tr if you like put the layers too far apart, then it starts to look really choppy, really like, it just looks unprofessional so when you're done obviously all the layers will be offset a bit so you just cut them all to the same uh, length and then you chop off the rest and then you do the same thing at the start you just chop off like all the layers so they're the same length there we go and then you just like drag it to the start and yeah so that's the basic ghost like effect like you just got clips playing one over the other and we've got three clips stacked on top of the other so we just got different videos playing over one after the other but the opacity i lowered it down to like 60 or 50 percent just enough to see like a trail and yeah that's the basic ghost like sort of effect so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it like a compound clip this is basically just nesting it or grouping it so that it's just into one clip it just makes your timeline a lot cleaner and you know you can you can apply effects to this one compound clip instead of like applying it to three separate clips so i'm gonna zoom out um and yeah so this is what we've got so far and i'm gonna duplicate the clip um so now we've got the same clip we've got the same compound clip just duplicate them on top of the other they're literally the same i'm gonna try and, pl and apply like a, a similar look to the glow effect that i did in like a previous video um i'll put it right up here so you can click on that if you want to see um how i did it in that video but yeah we're literally going to do the same thing we're just going to apply uh the, the glow effect um it's like a soft glow sort of film effect that i've seen be used like in in films or like in tv shows and you know it just looks cool so i'm going to the effects and the nodes are basically the same as layers um but it's just a bit more complicated but they, they work the same as, as layers just think of them as like a flowchart so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply like a blur to um 
to one node and I'm gonna just um, make it so that it's just a bit barely it's just it's just blurry but not like too blurry you just want the outlines of every everything to just disappear a bit um, so yeah you just blur it up a bit um, and then you add a bit of contrast at the, to the curve so you just add a new layer or you add a new node and you just uh, you just add a bit of contrast by the curves um, and then go back into your timeline you can just change the composite mode or the overlay mode try which one looks best um, I chose screen it's gonna make it look a lot like more contrasty so you might want to decrease the contrast in your settings um, but yeah that that's basically what we've got so now we've got a bit of um, a bit of a glow um, as well as the ghost sort of effect and yeah I think it looks really cool here it just zooms in and like this would definitely this could definitely be used you know in a in a music video yeah it just looks really cool here especially when it's shaky um because when it's shaky you've got the different layers obviously doing the same sort of motion but like one after the other so i don't know it just it, lo it just looks really cool you know but um what i did here all i did is just compound clip these two clips together and i because i wanted to speed them up uh, i could i should have probably done that in the beginning but you know, it was just a thought I had. So I'm gonna do like a speed ramp, um, speed it up. I'm gonna speed it up at the start and then make it go back to normal speed. Cause I did shoot this in like 25 or 24 FPS. So I can't exactly like slow-mo it. I will just finished the speed up sort of like speed ramp effect to it too. So in summary, we've got the ghost effect, then we've got a glow effect, and then we've got a speed up effect. Um, and I can't exactly show you how good the speed up is uh, right now in my project, but like I'll put the video up here, and as you can see, like it looks pretty cool. Um, I know this is just a random idea I had in my head. I just thought of like these three random effects that I could combine together um, into into just one into one sort of effect.